today's video is about philodendron lacerum and its requirements for its growing this is a variety of philodendron beautiful leaves with this this type of is not very with this like of ridges no beautiful plant Kevis plants and orchids. This is the philodendron lacerum. It is a popular philodend philodendron variety with its giant elephant ear, ear like leaves, and sometimes it is called a giant elephant ear also. It is large house plant with big green glossy leaves, ideal for a lovely corner. See the new leaves are light green. This is another. Once they mature, it becomes dark green. Actually, this uh, I had a big plant in the ground I was growing, and due to some reason, it I couldn't save the plant, and then this small plants appeared nearby the root. So I I just took them, and I'm growing in a pot now. So, if you grow them in the ground, the leaves will be very, very big. Now, they are not that big, but still they are bigger than my hand, you could see. Beautiful, like see the serration of the plant. So, it, lo it looks very beautiful, it is an indoor plant, it does not need much sunlight also. We will see all the requirements of this plant growing. It needs a rich soil mix which drains properly but stays moist. So, you can add some cocoa peat to the soil mix when you plant them and it does not like direct sunlight, it likes only indirect sunlight or filtered sunlight when you grow them inside the house keep nearby a window where it gets enough sunlight. It is a tropical plant, so it likes humidity. Humidity is very important for this plant to grow nicely. So, you can provide humidifier or keep them in a humidity tray or when grow them nearby a water source, so that it will get enough humidity. And propagation is you can just uh, you can see lot of roots. So, every node will have a root coming. So, you can just cut them and grow them. And sometimes you, you see this is a small plant only even though le leaves are looking different. Offshoots appear nearby the root base of the plant that also you can remove and grow. So, these are the methods of propagation and uh, fertilizer is once in a month you can fertilize them with a diluted mixture, it does not need a very heavy dosage of fertilizing and uh, the main uh, problem it you may see is root rot, it can be because of overwatering or under uh, over watering and in that case you can check the watering and uh, sometimes drooping of the leaves also you could see that also because of the over watering or under watering and leaves if the leaves are turning yellow that also regard uh, due to over watering. So, you have to check the watering of this plant to keep it very nice. Sometimes brown spots appear, it can be because of low humidity or too much of sun, here it is not getting enough, 
not direct sunlight so it does not have any problem of that and sometimes mealy bugs, spider mites all those things can attack it. In that time you can use neem oil fertilizer, neem oil uh, spray. So uh, that way you can save your plant. Root rot is the main problem. Last time it was growing in the ground. So uh, only when it was about to grow, go I noticed the plant is having some problem. So when you grow in, in the pot you can always see that the watering is proper and it is very poisonous to cats and dogs and uh, for small children. So all, almost all philodendrons are poison, poisonous so you be very careful. Here we are having rain even today. Even now you could hear the rainy rain sound. So because of the rain we are having some problem. Even this plant was but it developed lot of roots. When I took it out I just kept all the uh, roots inside. It need a big pot. I will be transplanting it into a big pot and it likes the temperature 13 to 20, 26 degrees Celsius. So when when harsh winters come, it will be difficult for to for you people to save the plant. In that case, you keep them inside the house, where inside a place where it is not having a direct contact with the uh, harsh weather. So this is how you can save the plant if you are in North India. There you have uh, harsh winters and um, harsh summers. Here we do not have that problem. So in winter also it is outside only. I, be, I have not noticed any problem. When you have very harsh winters only you need to keep the plant inside. So these are the points to grow, to consider when you grow them. Beautiful. Philodendron lacerum. See the, the uh, different colors of the leaves. It is in a small pot only. Actually, I need to transplant it. Once the rainy season is rain is over, I can do anything. Here it started rain in June and till now we are having rain. Hope you like the video about this plant. If you like the video, press the like button. If you are a first time viewer, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.